Hi guys, so as you may have seen recently, I've been having a go at the comic book style painting. And I have to admit, I've really enjoyed it, and it's not as hard as I first thought it was. As you can see, the last person I kit bashed was Hellboy, and I asked you guys to leave in the comments who you want me to make next. And quite a few of had obviously some great ideas, and a few of you said Lobos. And as one of the uh, people who mentioned that was one of my patrons, how could I resist? But I'd never heard of the guy before, so good old Google had a little search, and yeah, as you can see, loads of varieties of pictures, from sort of comic book style ones to film ones, or well, animations, all kinds of stuff. So yeah, looking at these, I thought, yeah, could definitely turn an orc into this chap. Nice and big, nice and muscly, and yeah, we'll give this a go. So I've got quite a lot of uh, orky bits in my bits box, uh, but then I saw this guy, obviously as you can see, he's kind of been glued together, or partly glued together. Um, but I like the look of this guy, because obviously he's nice, big, chunky, and he's got a jacket which Lobos seems to have in quite a lot of the uh, the pictures I saw. Uh, well, a sleeveless jacket at that. So yeah, good old bit of kit bashing here and basically cutting the little fella up. Um, I have to admit, sometimes this is fun and scary at the same time, because obviously you don't make too many mistakes. Well, don't want to make any mistakes, really. Because uh, if you do, well, then you're kind of scuppered. Although, saying that good old green stuff, you can have a go at sort of fixing any mistakes. So yeah, it's just simply a case of I wanted to make sure this guy was nice and sleeveless. So taking off most of the uh, the jacket bit there, just to sort of get his muscles out as well. Um, yeah, so any kind of gaps that do appear, in my mind I was thinking, yeah, I'm going to be using green stuff to sort of fill them all in. So this is the arm that I kind of like cut off, or came off, but then obviously putting it back, and as you can see, huge big gap at the top. Uh, but yeah, not to worry, we will be filling that very soon. But um, yeah, I do, do like the look of this guy. Uh, so a few of these bits I had glued on previously, so I need to take the old head off because, well, I didn't want the head with the uh, the big mask there. So it just seemed easier trying to cut it off. I did try and put it off, uh, but yeah, it was glued on and, uh, oh, the glue works how it should do, really. So kit bashing the orcs into Marvel, DC sort of uh, heroes and villains is kind of a little mini series. So yeah, guys, always leave comments down below. Uh, let me know who you want me to make. And if possible, I'll have a go at making them. And like this chat, if I don't know who they are, then, um, well, I'll go and have a little look up and, yeah, see exactly who they are. So all these ones I'm doing, uh, these probably will all be painted in the comic book style, just because I feel it kind of fits in well with, well, with, with what I want to do with them, really. I say these, none of these figures will be used in any kind of games at all. Um, well, I suppose I could make a kill team out of superheroes. I would need to then just give them some weapons, because obviously, at the moment, uh, they're kind of lacking in weapons, or they don't have weapons that they would have in the kill team game. But um, yeah, as I say, good old green stuff. Uh, don't need to use too much of this. I have now got a few of these sort of dentisty tools, uh, which are pretty cool because obviously quite a few of them have got these fine edges or sharp pokey bits, uh, which is perfect for pushing green stuff into well, in the holes, um, and yeah, and filling them gaps. Uh, yeah, that was a good thing with green stuff, or well, not a good thing, but the thing you need to do is obviously keep it wet because uh, otherwise it does tend to stick to whatever it is it's sort of touching. So yeah, keeping it wet and moist makes it uh, spread out nice and easy, and you can get a nice sort of thin looking, uh, well, whatever. Uh, kind of lost what I was going to say there. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so his peck needs a little bit of filling as well. Big old hole there. And yeah, you can definitely make uh, muscles a lot bigger with this stuff, which is uh, pretty cool. Okay, so while I am messing about with his peck, I just want to say a big shout out and thank you to all my lovely patrons for helping support the channel over the, uh, the last few years as well as my sponsors, Any Cubic and Easy Roll of Dice, as without their help, I possibly couldn't make as many videos as I sort of currently do. So, cheers guys! As you can see, I'm using the green stuff to turn his ankle boots into some good old, well, knee-high boots. Um, yeah, green stuff. So, I've only really started using it in the last sort of few months, I guess. Uh, yeah, love it. It's uh, reasonably easy to use. It takes a little bit of time and practice to sort of manoeuvre it to where it needs to go. Um, and then, yeah, we're in about sort of 20 minutes, half hour, starts to harden, uh, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, obviously the other thing this guy's got is these little skulls. So I've got a big drawer, well, not a big drawer, I've got a little drawer with about 100 odd skulls, which is kind of handy. So, yeah, I'm going to use three of these, as he seems to have one on his sort of belt buckle, and then a couple more on his, his knees. Um, again, when you look up Lobo on sort of Google, there's a whole variety of different sort of looking ones. Um, different sort of hair shapes, different style of clothing, uh, different sort of boots. So I've kind of gone for the more sort of cartoony one that I've seen. 
uh, and that's the sort of sort of the image that I'm kind of following. Uh, yeah, so green stuff, and again, obviously his jacket needed to give him some sort of like lapels, is it? Um, yeah, although you can't actually see what I'm doing because I sometimes forget where the camera is, and yeah, you just get a little bit out of shot. So for the face, one of the main things I wanted to try and get was obviously this dude's normally got a cigar, uh, whether it's in his hand or in his mouth. And this orc head, as you can see, clearly has a cigar in its mouth, so that's pretty cool. I mean, I could have made one out of green stuff, I guess, uh, but sometimes the smaller the thing you try and make, well, sometimes the, the more harder or difficult. So, uh, yeah, it was easier to use this dude and then just chop off his hat. Again, all these bits I kind of cut off, if they're reasonable, they go back in the bits box and then I can use them for, well, for something else really. So, yeah, I'm not too sure where this piece was from, uh, but I wanted these sharp pointy bits just to go on, well, his boots. Um, again, going by the picture, they have these sort of sharp pointy bits. So yeah, that, um, that little mask or hand gauntlet thing, I haven't got a clue where that came from. Um, so yeah, so apologies guys, I, I am going to have problems if you guys wanted to follow along with some of these kit bashes. I don't always know where these bits have come from. Uh, especially with some of these orc bits, I've had these for a good couple of years. So when I first started getting into orcs, obviously I'd make a few up. Um, didn't really paint many, because obviously a couple of years ago I used to hate painting. Um, so yes, I've got a lot of bits in my bits box, and I don't know where they come from. So apologies, I can't always, uh, well, give explanations of where they're from. So yeah, he does seem to have this kind of, well, this sort of hook thingy on a chain that he, I guess he throws at people. Again, I've not seen any of the cartoons or any anything to do with this guy, so I don't know quite what he does. Uh, but yeah, he does seem to have this hook in a lot of his shots, and it's attached to a chain. And luckily, I've got a small little chain. So yeah, haven't got to make that out of green stuff because that would be a nightmare and I wouldn't be able to do it. So yeah, attaching that, a uh, little bit of glue, and yeah, put it on the end of his what's it, and then wrap it around his arm because again, that's sort of <laughs> how he is in the pictures. Again, some of you guys might know this this chap, some of you guys might be like me and haven't got a clue, never heard of him before. Um, so he does look nice and beefy, nice and muscly. Uh, and I'm guessing, well, I don't know, is he a villain? I don't think he's going to be a hero, uh, but then sometimes you kind of get heroes that are villains at the same time. So, maybe. So, yeah, having a go at hair. Um, again, a variety of pictures. He's got short hair, long hair, scruffy hair, all kinds of hair. Uh, but he's definitely got hair. So, I'm having to go out making strands of that. Obviously, I'm probably doing this the complete wrong way of trying to do this, especially as obviously he's a bit suitably on his head. Uh, obviously, the tool's going to stick to it more than uh well more than the green stuff but um, yeah persevering uh yeah there might be an easier way to make hair guys if there is let me know um say green stuff i'm only getting into using it recently um but yeah so yeah he's come out quite well i'm pleased with how he looks uh obviously so we're not going to slap chop this dude which is why i painted him in white rather than the black and then dry brushing as i want to put basically uh, like block colors on him now um yeah, just because obviously we can do all the block colours, then we do some highlights, uh, and then we're going to do the inking of the lines. So again, whenever you do this, if you ever go doing this, um, stick with it. Because I, I, even when I was painting this dude, you start painting him and you think, well, this just looks kind of boring, bit pants. But uh, yeah, bear with it and keep going. Uh, yeah, these bits on the back, uh, don't worry, I do cut them off. Um, yeah, I, I don't know why I didn't cut them off initially, but it wasn't until I started painting it. And I saw those bits at the back and it was like, yeah, why did I cut them off? So as you'll see any moment now, I uh, get the snips back out and snip, 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 chop them back bits off just because, yeah, no point in them being there. Uh, but yeah, this is a case of getting all them block colours on. Um, yeah, nothing really more to say about that. Yeah, just get the colours on. And yeah, this is where I say I, I just start waffling. Um, so yeah, so guys, this, this obviously was done in the old style uh, of me sort of videoing, editing, as you can tell. I am doing a voiceover afterwards, um, and I think this is why I had a go at doing my last video where I was actually talking while I was sort of filming. Um, yeah, so I think there's less waffling because obviously I am then sort of in my head. I've got things to say, whereas I say sometimes when I'm sort of talking afterwards, yeah, my brain just goes a bit pants. So yeah, he's he's been painted now. Um, some of the colours was sort of two layers, just because obviously the paint goes on nice and thin. And yeah, sometimes two layers is better than one thick, gloopy one. And then yeah, just a case of going around trying to add highlights. 
So again, this is very new for me. This is only the third sort of miniature I've painted, having a go at doing highlights. Um, kind of guess obviously highlights go on raised areas that would be obviously hit by the sun at the old 45 degree angle, or well, whatever angle you sort of want to have the, the light source hitting them at. Um, so yeah, so I'm really new to this. But again, I'm doing this. It feels very weird when I'm doing it. Uh, but just stick with it guys when you get to the end it does seem to all come together and be okay so yeah after cutting them bits off the back his back looked like he needed something on there and I love the yeah, the TV series Stranger Things so I thought yeah the Hellfire Club sort of logo at the back would look pretty cool um, especially it does look like he's obviously a biker so yeah that looked pretty cool so yeah a bit of freehand drawing or painting even um, yeah apologies this does look a little bit shoddy uh, not exactly the best but then again I've never sort of done this kind of thing before and like most things it's practice and all the rest of it um, yeah so it comes out all right it's say it's not the best but it's I think it's better than nothing on the back um, and I kind of liked it anyway so yeah a bit of that painting so he's pretty much all done uh, and now it is the good fun bit of doing the inking uh, so this is basically obviously a bit of black paint a nice thin brush and then just going around everything so starting off with the again the hellfire club uh, little logo here just trying to get some black lines in it to make it look um, well, a bit more like the demon I guess that it's meant to be and then yeah it's just a case of going around the whole figure doing black lines well where sort of different sort of colors join um, don't worry about getting the, the lines too thin or if they do go thick it doesn't sort of matter too much as most of the cartoon comic book ones they do have sort of thin, thick lines, which is pretty cool. So yeah, it's just a case of getting all the definition, really. Uh, sort of making sure all the muscle parts can be seen. Uh, and I so, say, yeah, anywhere where one colour paint joins or goes up to another colour, uh, put in a black line. And I think if in doubt, yeah, just put a black line everywhere. Um, just because then obviously it makes it stand out more and differentiates parts from other parts. And that's, that's pretty much all sort of basically done. And this is a case of going around adding in some sort of like, well, drawing lines, little hash marks here and there. Um, again, I don't think you can do too many lines. The more lines, it does seem to look better and more sort of comic-y, cartoony looking, which is pretty cool. And again, this is where it starts to now finally look a little bit more like it is a sort of cartoon uh, painting, as opposed to, well... I say, when I first started doing this, it does feel like it's a bit of a mess. Um, <laughs> but just stick with it. Keep adding lines, and yeah, the more lines, definitely the more cartoon looking. And yeah, there we go. Let's see him in all his glory. Hope you enjoyed the video guys don't forget to leave comments down below on who you'd like to see me do next and if there's any sort of painting styles you want to see me try out as well as i will be trying out a lot of videos uh with different painting techniques things that i've not done before so that's going to be cool as well okay guys don't forget to like share subscribe all that good stuff eat cookies take care of yourselves and i'll see you in the next one bye for now